And man, this has been a tough one for me, man. I've been going back and forth on this fight. Bobby King Green taking on Patty Pimblett. And earlier in the week, I was kind of feeling, you know, the Pimblett vibes. I was thinking that he was going to get the job done. You know, he's the young guy. He's the fighter of the UFC, wants to get the victory here more than likely. He's in his home country. But, man, some of the stuff that I've been hearing this week has been kind of throwing me off. You know, where they said that they almost pulled the fight because he was having some motivation issues, you know, some depression, mental health problems. And that's a big red flag to me, man. I want to see how he looks, if he even makes weight, everything like that. Even if he does make weight, I'm just a little bit worried about how he's going to perform because I actually went back, I watched this fight with Tony Ferguson, and it's like, in the first round, he looked good. I mean, he was probably losing the first couple minutes, but he actually showed a lot better striking. You know, his one-twos were, were landing clean. He was throwing a lot crisper, faster strikes, and it's it's easy to look fast against Tony these days, but he ended up hurting Tony and almost finished him, and I think he gassed himself out, man, because he got a little lucky. I mean, round two of that fight, Tony threw that kick and fell down, and Patty was able to kind of ride out the fight just laying on top of him for the entire round pretty much didn't do anything in the second round and uh he was totally gassed in the third so if he had a lack of motivation he's not necessarily in the best shape for this one and gets tired it's not going to go down the same with bobby green i mean bobby green's not going to slip on a head kick and just lay on his back and accept being in full guard um and i just feel like Patty's not going to have a speed advantage here. Bobby's going to be the one that's faster. If Bobby's pressuring, going body, going head, he's going to be winning all the minutes in the fight. To me, it's just going to come down to is Patty going to be able to land one of those big left hooks, left kicks, or is one, two, and, um, or right hook, excuse me, right hook, right kick, or uh, knock him out with some big shot that Bobby doesn't see. If he doesn't do that, I just think Bobby Green is going to run away with it. I mean, I don't see Patty being able to take down Bobby Green. I mean, I, I I just don't see that. I didn't think his wrestling has looked that good. And so I'm going to go with Green by decision. You know, I kind of switched my tune on this one. If Patty, you know, comes in here and dominates, looks like the real deal, then maybe I'll kind of... I'm not going to say switch my stance because I feel like it's a close fight. It's just I think Green is better skills-wise. And I was kind of thinking that maybe Patty would take it. Just motivation, being that dog, being more hungry, and Bobby being a little bit less durable these days and maybe Patty catches him. But if Patty is not fully motivated himself, then I think Bobby's going to be able to get the win. So I'm going to go with Bobby Green for now to win via decision.